This is Salzburg in Austria. And behind me, believe it or not, is the gazebo where they filmed the courtship scene from A Sound of Music. And this is one of my favourite things. It's the new Maserati Quattroporte. Let's just say the hills are alive with the sound of Maserati. The changes to the Quattroporte are largely cosmetic. The new grille design is reminiscent of the Gran Turismo, and there are also LED daytime running lights and new side mirrors. Inside, the instrument cluster has been redesigned and there are two new shades of leather trim. But the big change is the launch of a new sports model with a more powerful 4.7 litre V8 that puts out a healthy 317 kilowatts. Now the Quattroporte isn't blindingly fast in a straight line and it's also not razor sharp through corners. But you don't expect that. This is a Grand Tourer, not a sports car. And it's more about the smell of the Italian leather and the wonderful burble from the V8 engine. Now the V8's also available in the Gran Turismo, but in this car you get an automated manual transmission. Now it drives basically like an automatic around town, but if you put it into manual mode and hit the sport button, it completely transforms the car. The suspension gets harder and the throttle gets more responsive, and it also opens up a valve in the exhaust, which makes it spit and growl just like a race car. Have a listen to this. To see how this car sparked a Maserati revival in Australia. It's beautiful to look at, it's luxurious inside and it's an absolute hoot to drive on country roads. It'll arrive in Australia in October this year, priced from about $320,000. But Maserati isn't sweating on its arrival because it's already sold more cars in the first half of this year than it sold in the whole of last year. Who says times are tough? <laughs>